Welcome to your Mind Valley Fitness Quest. My name is Ronan and I am going to be one of your trainers. I'm super excited and really happy that you're here. Because if you are, it's because you, you made a statement and you made a choice that, that you are serious about your fitness and, and you want the best of the best to take you forward in your journey. I know that this is a, a challenging a decision to make because I have worked with hundreds of people from different uh, parts of the world in their fitness, fitness quest on one-on-one already. And, and I see that a lot of the usual problems that happen before this, this choice is made, the fitness area of life is, is something that, that is confusing and overwhelming at the same time. You know, sometimes you don't know what you need to do. You know, I can, should I go for a run? Should I lift weights? Should I do my yoga? Or if I want to have a whole complete total fitness development, then it gets overwhelming because I will need two days to lift weights for, for an hour and then I'll need to do my yoga in the mornings and then I'll need maybe two or three days for my cardio and then I still need some things for my, my dynamic mobility and you know my explosive training and all of a sudden it, it, took, it took you know over my whole life before I even started. This is a big part of the, the problem that we have in the whole fitness scenario today. And it doesn't stop there because if you decide, okay, I'm going to take a step into that confusing or overwhelming area, then what you start to see is a lot of disconnected, random methodologies and exercises. And so you go to YouTube and you find a workout and you do that workout and then the next day you do another thing and then you, they are all unrelated and they don't take you on a journey. They are not built in a progression, in, in a program. And you start doing things that, that don't have this compound effect, that don't build on top of the previous one. So you are there for a couple of months using all the time and the willpower that you have. And after that, you see, you look back up after a quarter of your year and say, where are my results? And, and the problem is because when you do a lot of disconnected routines, you, you're not going some, you're likely not to be heading towards a, a program that, that evolves with you. Because the, the same exercise that you do today is, it will be the same exercise that you do in a couple of months from now. There will be the same exercise that another person that has a completely different state and body than yourself is also doing. So those exercises, not only they don't build a progression, a progressive journey, but they also don't evolve together with you. And even if you find something that, that is this is structured in a, in a logical way that can follow your progress, most of the programs that we have there are just incomplete because they only give you what to do in terms of exercises and routines. Hey, but then you say, ah, but I thought that, you know, fitness was about exercising my body and doing it running and lifting weights and things like that. Yes, it is, but it's part, part of it. Because this is when you give stimulus for your body to, to adapt, to become stronger, to become more uh, resistant. But also you need the raw material for this that comes from your nutrition. And not only the raw material, you need the environment where these things are happening, that this is, happens when you are recovering. A big part of your recovery is your sleep. So we wanted to change that. 
We wanted to change the way that the fitness is, is done because we, we want to see people with uh, happier with their bodies, with, with bodies that, that, that allow them to expand their experience of life. And so we needed to change the whole standard of fitness programs that we see over there. And this is why we designed a program, first in person with people across the world for more than three years and, and, and tested and iterated and, and redesigned up until we, we found something that was really effective, efficient, that we were ready to put it on camera and, and launch it for the whole world online. What we have here is a fitness system that has not only a logical program that is designed for you with exercises that build on top of the previous one that take you on a progressive journey that, that that guides your results forward but that also evolve together with you and that teach you also how to think about them so you don't need to follow a recipe but you can adapt your training according to your goals and according to your pace of, of evolution and not only that we also want to give you a complete approach, a complete framework. So you also see how, how you do with nutrition, how you do with your recovery, together with, with the, the signals of your physical training, so that now you have all the, the, the methodology, the most efficient methodology to take your fitness levels to, to places that you, you've never thought possible. You will see that one of the most beautiful aspects of, of this Mind Valley fitness system is the efficiency of how everything is put together. Instead of having a very overwhelming weekly schedule that you have cardio one day, mobility the other day, and strength on the other day, we, we built this, this program to be a total fitness program. The question is, can we, can we evolve, can we develop all different fitness aspects with one protocol, with a training that it can do once and by doing that once you are working on different aspects of her fitness and that's the this program is the result out of the investigating this question so whenever you are training with this mind valley fitness program you are not only improving your strength but also your muscle mass but also your cardiovascular fitness and your mobility in one single type of routine out of all this this uh, fitness aspects, we are using a type of training that is based, the, the, the essence of this training is based on strength training. And if you think about, oh, but why, why is that? Why that particular choice? And if you are asking this, this is a really good question that I want to make sure that we are clear on this. This has to do with the impact of a style of training over another across different areas of your health and fitness. If, you, if, I, if I tell you that I own a company, let's think about something different here, that I own a company and this company is 100 years old, what can you tell me about my company? Maybe not too much. Because you can tell that the company did well and survived for 100 years, but it doesn't say that the company is doing good uh, or bad right now because it could be at the verge of breaking, right? It could break next month after the, the last year. For you to see if this company is doing well or not, you need to look at some numbers. You know, these key, perf key performance indicators, KPIs. You need to look at profit, and you need to look at cost, and you need to look at turnover rate, and some other things. And then you, you look at those numbers and say, ah, okay, your company is doing good or your company is not doing good. Our bodies have a similar thing. So I, I can tell you that I have a, a biological age and a chronological age. And my biological age is, is more or less, I can tell you, you know, my, my body is... 32 years old. What does it say about my body? How well it's doing? Not too much. I have done a good job to survive for 32 years, but it could be at the verge of breaking. This is my biological ages. How much time has been since the day that I was born? That is my chronological ages. How much time has been since the day I was born? Then your biological age 
is that number that is telling you how well your, your body is doing. So it's 32 years old, but is it a young body or is it a old body, older than its own chronological age? And this number can be broken down into different key performance indicators, just like the company has profit and, 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 and costs and turnover rate and all these things. The body has 10 numbers. If you, there's a book written by William Evans called Biomarkers. That is a, a combination of 10 of those uh, little numbers that give you more or less what your, uh, what your biological age is. And amongst these 10 uh, markers, you have things like your muscle mass and body composition, your cardiovascular fitness, your blood sugar and blood lipids, and um, gene expression and telomere length and bone density, and many others. And you look at those, and then you can see, A, hey, this body is doing super well, or this body as is at the verge of, of breaking. When you apply a certain methodology of exercise to your body, you will see that those numbers will change. Some of them will improve, some of them may, may decrease, may get impaired, and some of them will remain unchanged. So for example, let's say that you are, trying, you are training for a marathon now, and you're running uh, a great deal for, for, for this training. You will see that a couple of things will improve. Your cardiovascular fitness will for sure improve. But you may also see that things like your bone density may get impaired because the amount, that big amount of cardiovascular uh, training that it takes to train for a marathon can impair your, your uh, bone density. If you're doing a stretching-based type of, of exercise, maybe you're doing, you know, your main go-to exercise is some yoga routines, and you see that, you know, your, your mobility is going to change, maybe your cardiovascular fitness is not too much. And so, there is only one type of physical exercise that improves all those 10 numbers at the same time, and that is strength training. And, and because of that, strength training or strength, strength type of training is the essence of this fitness program. But we are not only improving strength and, and muscle mass here, even though it, it is the main bulk of, of this journey, we built this methodology in a way that it also improves your cardiovascular fitness, also improves your, your mobility. How did we do that? First, we use resistance training. Resistance training is, is, is when you are moving your body against a specific resistance. So what I mean by this, if I do a push-up, I am lifting, I'm using, I'm moving my body against my own body weight. So I'm, this, this movement is being resisted. If I'm lifting weights, if I am stretching a resistance band, when I, whenever I'm doing a movement that there's a resistance, I need to put my, more tension on my muscle fibers. And this is resistance training. A lot of the weight lifting and, and gym type of training is resistance training. It's a big contributor to your strength, to your muscle mass, and also to your mobility. If you do a strength, a resistance training with a full range of motion, you are stretching your muscles around its own range of motion and increasing your mobility as well. But not only that, we do this training in a circuit fashion. So that means from one exercise, we go to the next without rest and then go to the next and repeat this for a couple of rounds. And by doing this, we keep our heart rate elevated. And if you keep your heart rate elevated for more or less 15 minutes, you're also getting cardiovascular fitness out of the same protocol. So this is amazing because now we are putting all these things together in a very efficient way. And this we combine with a high intensity training, which means that what we are doing will feel heavy to the muscles. Whatever is heavy for you, whatever is heavy for me will be different, but we will be doing something that for ourselves, for our particular fitness state, feels heavy because that increases the stimulus for strength gains and muscle growth. For that, you see that we are going to use two main types of exercises. One of them, and the, the major, the most fundamental ones, are called integrated exercises. And these are exercises that target muscle groups of different parts of the body at the same time. You know, they are big movements that, that work with two or more joints, and by doing them, we are working uh, uh, 
almost your entire body, if not your entire body. And then we are also eventually going to add isolated exercises. That these are more like a, 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 a meticulous type of work on a specific muscle. So if I am doing a whole exercise that uses all the muscles of my body, but I want to work specific on one or improve the performance of a specific ace, one group of, or one muscular group, then I use isolation to isolate that muscle and work a bit more on that one. So we are using a combination of these two into routines that we also call workouts. Workouts and routines, they are interchangeable and they mean the same thing. That will then give you the benefits of a total fitness program. Strength, muscle mass, cardiovascular fitness, and mobility. So you are in to something really epic. Now is the time to meet the, the other instructors, to get ready with the equipment and all the videos in this warm-up section. I'm super excited that we are doing this together and I cannot wait for us to get started. But first, warm up, let's get ready and I see you in the next video. Hi, let's talk about what you're gonna need to be able to train and execute all the routines that we're gonna have in the next uh, three months and going forward. This program is designed to be done either at a gym or at home. But from the beginning, I wanna, I wanna tell you that if you have the option, if you have both options, I recommend that, that you go for the gym. And the reason is that you have more options of different exercises that, that you can do. You, you will see that as we learn exercises, you will have different alternatives for each exercise that we are going to use in this routine. Some of them are gym only. Some of them you can do either at gym or at home. But with a, a broader set of options in the gym and also uh, being able to select your weight in a more convenient way and also going heavier eventually, especially if you're already into your fitness journey for quite a bit, the gym will expand your possibilities. So if you have two options, it's probably a great idea to try the gym first. If you don't have a gym subscription, then what I invite you to think about is to consider to have one. And I, I don't want to say that this you need a gym for the. I just want to try to make the point that your possibilities are expanded there. You can probably get further in your fitness journey by having the, the convenience of all the different equipment in, uh, in, in, in a gym close to you to do not only this program, but anything that is a strength training based. Let's say now that you say, no, I'm gonna do this at home no matter what. Yes, you can do this too. We designed this program also for this possibility, whether you, you don't wanna go to the gym at any cost or you are traveling or you know there's something else happening. And we designed this program or we redesigned this program in 2020 while the whole world was in, in quarantine and everyone needed to train at home. So we wanted to make sure that this is also very suitable and that we can get results at home too. If this is your case, what we will ask you to do is to get some basic equipment. And in this day, you'll find a PDF file that has all the list of the equipment. If you're going to the gym, okay, what are the machines that I will need from a gym? If I'm working uh, out at home, what are the pieces of equipment that you need at home? So I'm not gonna list this here because the PDF will be more helpful for you doing that thing. 
But one thing that I want to uh, bring now in advance is that you will see for the home equipment that you will need to get some equipment that are not um, that are not only a a chair and you know a pile of books to to support you know your your any any position of the body. We will be asking for things like a, 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 a few pairs of, of dumbbells or things like uh, gymnastic rings that you that you put on the uh, on the ceiling or something like a pull-up bar. We want to make sure that if we are training at home, we can get great results. And we can get great results for a long time. I don't want to get to a point to say, hey, no, you can only use your you know, body weight and we do a little few things here. No, let's start with the proper equipment. Let's make this a statement for our fitness transformation. And I know that, that you or other people may have some resistance. I'm, I don't want to get, you know, a pull a bar or dumbbells because this is, this is, this is too much. No, this is, this, is the, this is the proper equipment that we need to have great results for a long time. And I know that if you are here, it's because you are serious about your fitness journey. Maybe you have tried many other programs that, that, that failed you. Or maybe you've said, this is the time that I'm going to do something about my fitness and my, and my health. And if you are serious about your results, we are too. And this is why I'm, I'm trying to make this a strong point of let's get those pieces of equipment that are not the things that you find everywhere in the already the pieces that things that you already have at home we need to buy some things to make sure that we have proper equipment to do the exercises and progress them over the the course of the the next months and if you are you thinking you know if you're not really up for that idea i invite you to think of how serious you are with this with this uh fitness routine going forward I don't want to question your motivation. I just want to make sure that we have this clear. I'm, I'm telling you that this will be very important. And if this feels uncomfortable, I just help you to, I just want to help you take that step into that uncomfortable zone and say, okay, let's let's do this properly and let's do something that that will uh, uh, facilitate your results. I don't want you to have a very efficient and effective training routine, a lot of discipline and, you know, your motivation. And then you, you, your main ob uh, obstacle is just shortage of proper uh, training gear. Every time you need to find some way to improvise and then that creates an, a, a resistance to the training. And sometimes it may even prevent you from going forward because something so simple that we can solve right now. But then you'll say, hey, but I, I, I don't want, it's not that, I don't, that I'm not serious about my journey. I just don't want to get this equipment because I don't know if I'm going to like this program. You know, I'm still trying to test the waters. And if that is your case, that is no problem. But even so, the, the basic equipment that, that we are asking you to, to get, if you're training at home, they are pieces of equipment that you can use for any routine on, on strength and fitness. It's not something specific only for this program. So if the unlikely case that you really don't like this and you don't want to do this program anymore, you are going to have what you need to try anything else in the realm of fitness at the comfort of, of your home. So this is not going to be wasted money. And I wanted to make that clear. So, so you, you know, feeling more safe to, to make that, that investment. So I really invite you, please really want you to take that, uh, uh, if that is uncomfortable, to take that uncomfortable step. Invest in your transformation, in your fitness journey. You deserve it. And I'm pretty sure that at the end of three months, you're going to look back and you're not going to regret it. Hi, I want to talk to you about how this quest is designed. So how all the, all the magic is going to happen. The first thing to know is that we are going to have three different phases of this quest. The first phase is when we are, we are learning the, the fundamentals and the basics, you know, the fundamental exercises and the fundamental routines and all the, the, the basics that if you keep doing them forever and ever, they will give you the, the biggest bang for your buck. 
You know, all the majority of the results will come from, from those fundamentals. And this is what we are learning or and, and doing on phase one. Then on phase two, we keep on doing the fundamentals because they will always be there. They are the biggest rocks of our training. But then we are also adding a next level of our training. We're taking things uh, up a notch. And you will learn different exercises and routines that will, that will allow you to focus on specific muscle groups. I know a lot of people come, ah, I want more strength or more shape in, in this part of my body rather than, than the other. How do we do that? This is what phase two is about. Or if I, I am stuck in a plateau of, of performance, strength or, or muscle growth, how do I break that plateau? So, Phase two will help us address that. And it's the longest phase of, of this quest because we're learning and implementing different techniques. And then phase three is when we, you learned everything that, all the, the variables and how to, to uh, train and the basic and, and the more advanced. And now you can design your own program. This is one of the things that that, that is different about this program. We not only... We're not only going to tell you what to do. You know, these are the exercises you do them three times a week and one hour per day and that, so on and so forth. We also want to tell you what is behind it, why we do things the way that, that we do and, and how to think about fitness, how to think about your program. So you can then design your own and, and, and shape things according to, to your goals. So this program can evolve together with your own evolution, together with your own results. So phase three, you'll be designing things according to, to how you want. And we're gonna teach you and, and guide you on how to think about this. And through these three phases, we are going to provide you different types of resources for you to learn and execute all those things for this transformational journey. The first one is the content videos. There are videos just like this. That is either me or Monique that's all talking to you, some of the, the coaches of this program that will be bringing the idea, oh, this is the training of the day and here are some of the principles about muscular growth or, or strength gain or fitness that we are applying. Or we're bringing out the principles and all the instructions. These are the content videos that we are going to have on our training days. Then we also have exercise guides. So when you are learning an exercise, you're going to have all the different variations and alternatives, whether you're training uh, with a specific equipment or at home or in the gym. So you have all the, it's like your buffet for different exercises and each exercise will have a guide so you can learn how to do this in the proper way. So exercise guide videos are for you to learn new exercises. But we put those exercises into a routine. So we also want to provide you the routine demos is a, is a video demonstration that shows a real workout being done by by someone who is experienced with this with this program so the coaches me and monique we will be doing these workouts as not in an instructional way we're not going to stop in the middle of the workout and say hey take a look at this exercise no we're going to do the workouts ourselves because what we want is for you to see what it looks like when it's done to the in a, in a real situation most of the fitness programs that you see out there they teach you the exercise and they say okay now you execute these exercises with the highest intensity that you can and then when the instructor goes there and shows you what it looks like, it stops in the middle and, and does things very slowly and very lightly. And, and there, is, there is value to this. There's educational value. They want to, to give you attention to the details. But you never know what it looks like. You know, the instructor says, now you get this exercise and do it to the highest intensity. And I'll demonstrate to you. And they go like, ah, ah. you don't know what high intensity looks like. So all this workout demonstration videos, they, you will see us training to the highest of our intensity. And whenever you watch one of those, what I wanted to, to keep into perspective is that you're not supposed to do things the same weight that, that a experienced coach does. 
What I want you to do is that you go to your maximum, whatever your maximum is. If you are stronger and more experienced than, than, than me and Monique, you're gonna probably go heavier on those exercises and do you know they're in a more intense way. If you are in the beginning of your journey, you're gonna do this with less weight, with less intensity but you're, you're going to do them to the best of your abilities, just like we will show what a workout to the best of our abilities looks like. So this is the, what the workout demos are for. Then we also have videos on, content videos on nutrition and sleep, and they are coming always on Tuesdays. And this is another particular and unique thing that this program has. We know that fitness is not only doing exercises and moving your body and intensity and pushing and all these kind of things. Yes, this is a huge part, it's needed. But you also need to give your body the resources and raw material to, to adapt and grow. And this comes from nutrition. And you also need the environment where all this transformation happens. That is when you are recovering. And so we don't want to leave you with just a third of your fitness results. We want to give you the whole thing. And that's why we have nutrition and also sleep methods and practices included in this program. So then you can take your, your fitness journey to the next level, into the following levels forever and ever because you know all the three main pillars that make this whole thing work. Now let's talk about the, the next week. First, all the routines that we are going to do, they take more or less up to 20 minutes. But I recommend you that in the first weeks, you dedicate a bit more time because you're learning it. So you take more time to figure out how to set up your exercises, how to execute them and how to pay attention. So if you only have 20 minutes in the first weeks, you may see that it's too bit of a short time because you, you know, allow yourself to, to learn and, and to take your time. But once you get the, the hang of all the routines, you see that they will take sometimes less, but up to more or less uh, 20 minutes, maybe a little bit more if you need to rest a little bit more. But this is more or less the, you know, the ballpark for how much time you set separate per, per week. Week one is an exception. Phase one is starts only on week two. Week one is a week for tests. So week one, we are going to have videos every day from Monday to Saturday. Monday and Thursdays are going to be our training days for week one and also for phase one. This is the, the days that we are doing our workouts. So if you're doing workouts in, in the gym, uh, then you know that Monday and Thursday are the days that you are preparing, separating a time to, to go to the gym and do the workouts. If you're training at home, then you, these are the days that you are finding a time in your agenda to go to your room or to your uh, exercise space to do your, your trainings on Mondays and Thursdays. This is also the same next week in phase one. Then we also have on Wednesday and Saturday, other fitness tests that we're doing only on, on week one right now, that even though they will take, you know, exercises and all these kind of things, they are done at home. Even if, you're, if your training will be done in the gym, these two fitness tests we do only with the body weight, so you can do them from home, you don't need to go to the gym. So, but it's still separate some time on Wednesday and Saturday of the next week for these two fitness tests that we are going to do. And Friday, we are dedicating for some other health tests. There's a uh, measuring your body weight, uh, uh, body composition, uh, a blood pressure, and other biomarkers that we want to keep track to have a, a, a broad panorama of health and fitness and where these things are going. So separate some time of, of Friday to, uh, to learn what these tests are and also to plan when you are doing them. And then all this will be done based on your habits and routines, right? So remember that all the success, wherever is uh, uh, fitness or other areas of life, they are built on routines. So what I wanted to, to ask you is to first allocate some time on Mondays and Thursdays, that this will be your, your workout times for the next couple of weeks. And look at a time of, of the calendar and say, okay, this is the time either in the morning or, or the evening or the afternoon. And then also separate some time that you use to watch the videos. 
the content videos on Monday, the content videos on Thursday that gives you the instruction of what to do in your workouts, but also the content videos on Tuesday. That is when we are talking about nutrition, sleep, and also on and so forth. And remember that if you want to try to build a habit out of these things, the best thing that you can do is to allocate these times based on a trigger. So instead of saying, uh, all right, at 2 p.m. Uh, every day, I'm going to open the app and, and, and watch my video. 2 p.m. is a, is a random um, allocation or trigger. It's very uh, unlikely that we are you know, always checking our phone to see when it's 2 p.m. Ah, now it's 2 p.m. It turns out it's the time for me to watch the video. The best way to build a habit is to build it on top of another existing one. So it could be every morning uh, on Mondays and Thursday and, and Tuesday after I finish my coffee or as I drink my coffee, because these are already well-established habits, I will open the app and uh, watch the videos of the day. So if you frame this in your mind based on a specific uh, existing habit, you increase your likelihood and the, how easy it is to build another one on top. Every day on my way back from work, I'll pass every Monday and Thursday on my way back from work, I'll stop by the gym to do my 20-minute my workout. This is another habit that already exists, and now we are, we are in, adding a new one as uh, triggered by an existing one. So this is how you make the, you know, the behavior change uh, uh, faster and easier. And also, you want to, make, you want to decrease the resistance for each one of those habits to, to happen. So if you wanna uh, watch the videos on a, on a daily basis, try to think of a time that you know they have the, the full attention. So for example, when you're having uh, your coffee in the morning or you know after you're coming back from, from work that, at the end of the day. And the, if you're training, if you're passing by the gym on your, on your way to work, it may be a good idea to just leave earlier and do your training by then because uh, if you're, if you're plan to train when you're not even close to going to the gym, you're adding resistance to, to build the habit. So think about how to make it more practical and more convenient to get started with your training routine in case you already don't have one. If you already have one, now you're adjusting to add these training routines to your existing training schedule. Now you're ready to go. You know, you got the equipment, you know how this works, and you're, you know, all, all everything that we needed to cover before we start the quest, we already covered. So you're about to, to start a journey that is going to be epic for the next 12 weeks and it may as well change and improve the, the course of the rest of your life. I am super looking forward to start and I see you on day one.